Coach, once again, thanks for joining us in studio. You're coming off of the bye week. What did you take advantage of with that extra week of preparation? Yeah, just trying to clean up a bunch of little things that we made mistakes on the first week. So that first week, uh, during the bye week, we kind of focused on ourselves more so than our opponent. Um, tried to get ahead a little bit later on in the week, but but mainly we tried to focus on ourselves and, and clean up some of our own mistakes. Last week, you mentioned being able to regroup and reset. How did your team benefit from having uh, the break and that extra day out of pads? Yeah, well, one thing, you know, I think we, we looked a lot fresher this week in practice. Um, our legs were underneath us. We had some really energized practices. Um, we got to go to the Alamo Dome to practice on Wednesday morning, which our kids were excited about, had a lot of juice in there. So great week of preparation. Um, now we just got to put it together with a couple mental days today and tomorrow and uh, go execute on Saturday. What will be the biggest focus heading to Abilene on Saturday? Yeah, you know, I... We just got to get a week better. Um, we've talked about it with our kids all week. Is, is if we continue to get a week better, um, each and every week we'll be in, in a great position to win each and every game we play. So, um, you know, just clean up some of the little things, the mistakes we made, which I think that we've, we've harped on that and our kids are doing a good job on focusing on that stuff. And, and the turnover battles, battle is going to be huge in this game. Um, we got to continue to win the turnover battle, uh, take it away on defense and, and keep it on offense. What are some of those little things that you mentioned that need to be cleaned up? Yeah, uh, you know, the biggest thing is just them being able to focus on their job. I think sometimes we get in the, in the battle and some of our guys try to do too much, try to be superhuman and, and do something we don't ask them to do. And our schemes fit together. Um, and if one guy makes a, a mistake, it, it shows up in a big way. And so every 11 guy, uh, each 11 have an individual job every play and, and they got to execute that job, not try to do too much, not too little. After watching tape, what will be one of the biggest challenges ACU will bring on Saturday? Yeah, their offense is really good. Um, this this head coach has had a lot of success offensively. Um, presents a lot of problems. They scored 30 points on Baylor earlier this year. And so uh, we got to do a great job tackling the open field. He's going to get some one-on-one -on -one matchups um, just because that's what he, he's been known for. And so we got to do a great job executing and tackling in the open field. Talking about their strong offense, you complimented your defense last week that only allowed three yards per rush, seven points total in last week's game. What will they need to do to build on that performance in order to have success against the Wildcats? Yeah, um, you know, the one thing I thought they did well last week was hitting the quarterback. We knocked the first guy out, and, and the second guy was close to coming out. He was feeling, feeling the pain there towards the end. So uh, if we continue to get hits on quarterbacks, and uh, knock them off their spots, off of those routine plays, I think we'll have a lot of success again. Now that it's two weeks later, how do you carry the momentum from the win into the into the, your next game? Yeah, we got to forget about the past. I mean, that's in the past, and, and we did a good job of, of winning game, going 1-0 and in conference. But, but like we talked about, we got to reset. This is a whole new week. We're the underdog again. We'll continue to be the underdog. Um, I like that role, and our kids are buying into it. And uh, they're playing hard for one another, which is key. As an underdog, what's the message to the team to motivate them? Uh, just earn your respect each and every week. So, um, you know, nobody believes us in us uh, besides ourselves, and uh, that's the way it started. And, uh, you know, we, we go under the motto of stealth mode. You know, we want to fly under the radar and, and continue to knock one off each and every week. Coach, thank you so much for joining us, and good luck this week. Thank you very much. We'll see you on Thursday. Yes, ma'am. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.